bride, another June, another lovely honeymoon, another season, another reason for making whoopie pies. Let's go make some whoopie pies. So come to Mary's kitchen, see what's going on. Come to Mary's kitchen, waking up a storm. Come to Mary's kitchen, we got it going on. Welcome to Mara's Kitchen. Today we're making whoopie pies, a main invented main recipe. I'm so excited because we're going to do um, all sorts of yummy stuff. We're going to do a half a cup of shortening. It can be regular veg vegetable shortening. I like a butter flavored uh, shortening because it gives it a nice butter flavor. And it, to me, it's all about the flavor. Now, this recipe. Uh, it has slight variations. People do little substitutions, sometimes butter, but the shortening with this will make it not dry out so quickly. And then we're going to put one large egg and a teaspoon of vanilla, and we'll mix that all together. We're going to have one teaspoon of vanilla. Now this is where you can get creative. You can have a teaspoon of vanilla or you can put a teaspoon to two teaspoons of mint if you want mint flavored whoopie cake. And that's what makes it interesting. Even though it's got cocoa in it, you can put any flavoring you want. Okay, we have one egg and we're gonna fold that in. We're going to add our flour mixture and then we put a nice cup of buttermilk. Half a teaspoon of salt, and one and a half of baking soda. And we're going to sift this into our shortening egg. Gradually add our cup of buttermilk and cocoa powder. Okay. Putting in one cup of buttermilk. Okay, stir that completely. Then we will add a half cup of cocoa powder. Because after all, a whoopie pie is chocolate. Now, on your cookie sheet, you can spray it with uh, the cooking oil or uh, use wax paper. But we're going to drop these with a large um, scoop right on to the stoneware. Now this is my very large scoop, or my largest scoop. Just drop it right on there. And these are going to be your cake halves. We're going to cook these at 350 for, well, we're going to check them at like 15 minutes. Now 
now for the yummy, luscious filling. We've got a cup of the butter flavored shortening. Again, you can use regular. And the secret ingredient, fluff. Two cups of marshmallow fluff. And then we're gonna have two cups of powdered sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla. Mm -hmm. It's gooey, folks. The gooey is yummy. We've got two teaspoons, or a little more, <laughs> of vanilla. Mix that, fold that right in. And last but not least, we add our two cups of powdered sugar. One cup. If you prefer, you can stir in one cup at a time, which may be beneficial. I'm gonna shove it all in there. And this is our whoopie pie filling. Now it's gonna look more like buttercream because I used the butter flavored shortening, which I kinda like. Mm -hmm. So we're scooping out about the same amount as each side of the cookie, or the whoopie cake, excuse me. You take the other half, and there, my friends, is your whoopie pie. And there you have it, Maine's official dessert. Created in Maine and made by Maine. Like us on Facebook, and don't forget to 